Hey everyone, how are you guys doing out there? Hope you guys are all doing well. This is Regan. Thanks for tuning back into our channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about and compare these two versions of Batman by Hot Toys, a 1-6 scale collectible figure, which is the DX19 and the Batman Armory version. Well, I don't have the DX12, so I could only compare the Batman Armory version to the DX19, but I believe the Batman Armory version is quite similar to the DX12. Uh, in terms of patterns and details, probably the only difference is the accessories, okay? And before we start, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you'll be notified once I upload a new video, especially if it's from Hot Toys, okay? Without further ado, let's dive in. Alright, so first things first, I just want to let you know that this Batman Armory version is an 8-year-old figure compared to the DX19, okay? And also, the Batman Armory version is a little bit smaller than the DX19, so whatever parts that I'm going to show you guys, expect that the Batman Armory version is smaller than the DX19, okay? Right, so I'm gonna start with the head sculpt. Okay, so for the head, uh, for this bat cowl, um, you can see that the armory version is a little bit smaller than the DX19. You can tell from the horn, yeah, from the cowl right there. The DX19 is longer than the armory version. And the face, uh, the cheekbone right here, the DX19 is more bigger now and wider compared to the armory version. And the lower face cup is also different. Uh, not just only the shape, but the lips is a little bit smaller on the DX19 compared to the Armory version. Okay, and then the texture of the cowl is uh, a little bit rough on the Armory version and more smoother on the um, DX19. And then also underneath, the control for the eyes, for the movable eyes, the DX19 has two control for both eyes, left and right, while the uh, armory version has only one control for both eyes. Okay, and then there's extra protection, like foam protection for that uh, metal, right there, and then right here, the armory version is doesn't have, so direct to the metal, so once you're going to attach to the neck. Okay, so yeah, so that's the difference between these two uh, bat cowl. And then they both have extra cowl. The, of course, the armory version has that empty bat cowl, while the uh, DX19 has this uh, LED light up effect uh, eyes. There you go. Okay, and uh, for the body. Okay, so for the bat suit, I'm gonna start on the neck part. The neck of the X19 is a little bit longer than the armory version, so that's why you can see more details on the lower part, just a little bit, you know, compared to the armory version. And I find that the articulations of this neck of the X19 is it's easier to move compared to the armory version. See, I don't know why this one's so tight. Probably the collar or that hole on the collar is a bit small for that neck. Okay, and then this part right here and around around the collar. I would say the armory version is a bit faded already, you know, that uh, paint job while the DX19 still has that matte finish because the armory version is kind of like glossy now, eh? So I would say kind of like uh, faded already, so that's why it become like glossy instead of matte finish, right? And But everything else around it looks the same, okay? So moving on to the chest plate armor, uh, this one I think just the size. So you could see that the space uh, around here on the DX19, it has a bigger space on this, uh, what's this, like this pattern, this detail of carbonite armor compared to this uh, armory version. This one's a bit small, so that's why, just the size. And I saw that this middle part right here on that uh, bat logo emblem is a little bit deeper on the armory version compared to the uh, DX19, okay? But everything else looks the same, okay? 
And then moving on to the abdominal part around here, I saw that the armor version has a bigger gut in the middle part right here, kind of like V-shape, you know, compared to the, the DX9. The DX19 is just one straight line and smaller gaps, okay? I would say more precise compared to this armor version, okay? And, but everything else, the design, the details, also the shape looks totally the same except that paint chip, okay? And then, yeah, I think the color, the color of those uh, patterns inside, that kind of like carbonite uh, uh, details, I think the color of this army version is a little bit uh, lighter or more yellowish, while this uh, DX19 still has that darker color. So I'm not sure which one's correct. I'm not sure if that's the you know real color of army version. So. I don't know uh, because I don't have the DXO, so I cannot really compare it. Um, but yeah, it looks like uh, kind of like uh, you know uh, discoloration for that you know uh, yellowish color on that details of Army version compared to the DX19. Okay, and then uh, on the side part, just extra gaps on that uh, Army version compared to the DX19. Yeah, just some space around it. And then the size of this part right here, I don't know how you're going to call this, this side uh, armor or layered pattern, uh, thing looks the same, you know, um, yeah, even the size. And then moving on to the waist part right here, the waistline, this one right here, you could notice that it has a bigger gaps on the, the army version, so you could really see that uh, stitch on the waistline compared to the DX19, the DX19 is like almost covered that whole waist part, so very intact. I mean, those patterns are very intact to the upper body uh, uh, patterns, okay? So, yeah, you could see this arm version that you really need to put that utility belt, right? You, you know where to put that utility belt because of that, uh, you know, that waistline on that uh, arm version. While the DX19, of course, you cannot really tell. So even without the belt, it looks fine, looks okay, right? So yeah, um, yeah, very intact. It has more, uh, I mean like it, it has less space or less gap on those patterns compared to this uh, armor version, okay? Right there. Uh, so let's move on first to the arms. Okay, so this one right here, starting from the, the shoulder patch or shoulder armor, I would say looks the same, even the size, just a little bit lower on the uh, which is on the army version compared to the DX19, okay? Right there. And then also that pattern inside the arms, the DX19, I would say this one is the correct one, more diagonal, you know, that uh, patch or armband, I would say, while that army version more vertical towards to the shoulder, okay? So probably this is the wrong one and the correct one is the DX19, okay? And then Okay, so this one right here, you can see it's a little bit bigger on the DX19 compared to this uh, armory version, okay? And then also the armory version, that patterns, that armor is closer to the elbows, while the DX19 is a little bit far from the elbows. So once you did some you know, articulations on the elbows of this armory version, you might gonna have some limited range of motion compared to the DX19. Okay, because uh, you know you might gonna hit that armor, that pad, uh, that pads, that details, then it will not gonna do a full uh, range of motion, you know, compared to this uh, DX19. Okay, and yeah, it has bigger space oh, on that uh, DX19 compared to that uh, armor version. Okay, and then on the gauntlet part right here, the gauntlet I think looks totally the same, um, even the size actually very small difference on the size i would say but those blades also the same design i cannot see any difference okay even patterns uh, details no it's totally the same just the size just very very small okay okay so this one right here you could totally notice that you know the size you know from the arms you could see the arms of arm reversion it's a bit thinner you know and then while the DX19 is a bit thicker, so you could tell that the body that they use for the arm, the, the DX19 is bigger than the armor version, okay? Right there, okay. And then it has more uh, big, I mean, it has more space, I would say, in the inner suit compared to the armor version. The armor version is really tight to the body, while the DX19 is quite 
you know, I would say loose, you know. So yeah, because it has space, eh? so on that, uh, you know, inner suit. So that's why it looks a bit bigger, okay. And then moving on to the lower part. Okay, so this part right here, after that waistline. So let's move on to this groin armor or groin guard. Um, you could tell that the arm reversion is a bit smaller or shorter compared to the DX19. Okay, so it has a lot of gaps right there around the legs. The design and the patterns looks the same. It's just the size. The size of the DX19 is more bigger now, almost covering the whole inner suit. Okay. And in smaller gaps while this arm reversion you can see like small patterns uh, on the knee part knee guard i think looks the same yeah i think it's okay okay so let's move on to the boots part the shop part this one right here uh, of course longer on the dx19 shorter on the arm reversion and also i saw those crumpled parts some details and some scope on the boots more to the front on the DX19, you can see right there, and then more to the side on the army version. Actually, less crumpled, less uh, details on that uh, shop part of the boot, and then also on the shoes. Uh, the shoes, I would say, the size, of course, bigger on the DX19, and then the smaller on the army version, and also the details. Those details on the shoes is. Um, more precise on the X19 uh, compared to the Army version. The Army version kind of like, a, I mean, it's, in, it's not clean, you know, it's not highly detailed, you know, compared to this um, DX19. Okay, even the side part of the boots right here. Let me show you guys. This one right here, you can see it's very precise, you know, on the DX19. You know, those patterns compared to this uh, Army version. Okay. So that boots and the shoes are uh, totally different. I mean, like in terms of details. Okay, so on the back part right here, uh, this one, I'm not sure, probably this army version that I have is, uh, it has a QC problem or some factory defect because it's not aligned, you know, from each other, the, that pattern on the back leg. While the DX90 is well positioned, I would say it's aligned. And uh, there is a big space on the DX19 on the back of the knees. Uh, probably because of the articulations, right? So you could really do some bigger uh, range of motion compared to the army version. Well, you could also do uh, it here, but uh, I'm just saying that uh, those pads, those patterns are, you know, lead patterns uh, close to the knee part. So you might gonna have some limited articulation, you know, once you move it. And then, uh, yeah, that back leg, this part right here, that hamstring, but the arm version has a lot of gaps, you know, bigger gaps. Right, compared to the DX19, I would say the DX19 is well positioned, precise, as I said. Well, the army version also well positioned, and I would say precise. It's just it has bigger gaps, you know. So, yeah, you could really tell the difference. I would say this, of course, this one's uh, improved version, that's why it looks better now. And this one right here, I saw that the muscle on the army version is quite uh, rounded. So not really tight to the body compared to the DX90. The DX90 you can see, it's really tight. So now uh, we could see that the muscle of the butt is very clear now. It has some shape, nice shape compared to that the uh, army version. See, see that flat butt, right? I mean, it's not tight to the body, so that's why we cannot really see that curve on the butt part of this arm version. Okay, the stitch you can see more stitch on the arm version. The DX19 it's covered, so that's why it looks better, right? And then on the upper part, these uh, kind of like a spinal uh, how do you call this one? Like spinal armor, right? Um, this one looks the same, you know, but the uh, army version is a bit bigger eh, compared to the DX19. Okay, I'm not sure why. And it has more gaps on the DX19 now compared to this uh, army version. So I'm not sure why. But it looks the same. The shape, the design looks totally the same. Nothing changed. Just the size, okay, and the gaps. And yeah, this part right here, this tailbone. Um, uh, what is this like armor? I think looks the same. I mean the in terms of size. Yeah, looks the same Just very small in you know, a difference probably smaller on the armory version. Okay, and then moving up to this shoulder blade armor 
this one you can see i cannot see any difference like even the size looks totally the same just a little bit faded on the army version as i said a bit glossy now compared to this uh dx19 okay but everything else looks the same uh, let me show you guys the belt so i didn't attach the belt so you guys could see the full details of the bat suit and then one last thing on those layered patterns on the armor i find that the dx19 has more vibrant color now on this part right here uh, compared to the armory version uh, those color that you can see the difference that alternate color that kind of like let's say bronze black bronze black right while the armory version more of like matte finish so you cannot really see those uh, different uh, colors right so yeah this one's more glossy now on the dx19 okay okay so for the belt uh, of course this one's for the armory version this one's dx19 i I think the color is a little bit different. The army version is a little bit darker than this uh, DX19. Okay, and then of course I didn't uh, put those uh, pouches, some um, uh, gadgets, some patterns, right? Or yeah, some details. You know, I didn't attach that. And um, uh, this part right here, the back part, I'm not sure. This one's black color, while the DX19 is uh, bronze color. You know, uh, or gold color. Uh, same with that utility belt. I'm not sure why. Probably this is the correct one, you know, compared to this um, uh, armory version, okay? And the inner part right here, the inner part is fully uh, covered or fully protected from the bat suit because it has that one whole piece of foam to protect right from the scratch, right? And then while the army version just some a specific part i'm not sure why okay and so you might gonna get some scratch if you you know maybe uh, move too much i'm not sure i'm just saying so anyway just that and also the lock uh the lock of this army version is it has two locks uh left and right so that's how you're going to attach this one to the body or to the bat suit while this dx19 it, it has only one lock you know for this one right there okay so let me attach this one first so you guys could see how it looks like um okay so this is uh the belt looks like the utility belt uh, to the bat suit um again you see the color is very different like this one darker like more closer to the bronze color like this one more gold ish color you know, right and i uh, see the this part right here this army version is a bit uh, high like high waisted i would say while the dx19 is more closer to the hips right so a little bit lower compared to this uh, army version okay i think that's the only difference and once you attach it to the badge or to the figure okay the fabric material that they use for the inner suit I think uh, it's a little bit different. The army version has that bigger hole, so kind of like more mesh type, while the DX19 is more fine, more smaller holes, okay? But uh, yeah, I think uh, looks totally the same, but it's just that the material that they use is a little bit different, okay? Okay, so for the bat cape, for the cape of this uh, Batman, uh, this one is for the DX19, this one is for the army version. So the, the army version is a little bit thick, I would say. Um, uh, thick and not stretched right there uh, because this one is suede material. While this one, a fabric uh, woven material, kind of like that, I would say thinner. So it's not fluffy or not, yeah, something like that. So, okay, some more drop, you know, the, the material. And then this one is stretch. Yeah, this one is stretch. And of course, the color you can see, you could really tell this one is a bit, uh, you know, lighter. This one, pure black. Um, hmm. And uh, this one has a wire incinerator. So um, you could really do some, you know, some style on the shoulders, you know, on this cape, like this part right here on the side. Well, this one doesn't have. Um, I thought they're gonna add that too, but you know, I think some collectors also expecting that, but uh, nah. But anyway, uh, this uh, the hook. The of course, since this one is thick, it's quite hard to attach uh, to the shoulder. Uh, for me, I would say um, this one is very easy to attach to the shoulder part. So yeah, okay. And uh, I think the length is same. 
the same length it's just that the thickness the quality and the look once you attach it to the batman okay okay so lastly the head sculpt of bruce wayne or christian bale the first thing that you're going to notice is the size of course the size of the armory version is smaller than the dx19 right you can see the shape thinner on the armory version and yeah smaller uh, well you could tell from the hair sculpt the hair cell of the x19 is totally different now and thicker while the army version thinner and yeah i would say more sharper on the army version this one a little bit uh well soft but detailed i would say on the dx19 even the ears the ears of army version smaller than the dx19 right and the neck part the neck of the uh, DX19 is longer than the Armory version, but since there's an extra adapter or joint, it looks longer. So probably once we attach this uh, neck to or this head scalp uh, to the Armory version, might be too short. Okay, later we're gonna check that. And there's some extra. Well, this one also the Adam's apple is different. The Armory version, some, something like there's an extra, you know, and bigger. I would say compared to DX19, right? Uh, though the DX19 is uh, more slimmer, slimmer uh, neck compared to the Army version, okay. And the uh, lips, I would say, a bit open mouth to the Army version, more close mouth to the DX19. The nose sharper, yeah, on the DX19, and the eyes, I would say, a little bit wider on the DX19 right and more clear you know that eyeball see and uh, forehead the forehead more detailed on the dx19 and a bit smaller the forehead of army version is a bit wider okay and also uh this one you're gonna notice this one the skin tone the skin tone of army version is a bit darker compared to the dx19 it's more lighter now right so that's why he looks he looks younger on uh, this head cup while this one he looks older i think i think that's the best uh, comparison for these two head cup so this one is the older christian bale this one is younger christian bale right but i would say of course the, in terms of likeness uh, since this one's more detailed now it's more improved version so he looks more christian bale this one you could see it's christian bale there but uh, it's just that the, since the details is not that clean you know and the texture so that's why um probably like, yeah not that uh, uh it's a bit far from you know dx19 okay and the, the, i think the paint application i don't know if you guys are going to notice this one the paint application of the uh army version is a bit uh, not even yeah not clean compared to dx19 so the this one is even the paint application while the army version is an even paint application for me yeah I would say probably that's the style before that that's their style you know uh they're trying to make it really more uh, uh more i would say a grading or weatherings on the face so they're trying to make that the shadows but since uh, uh maybe they haven't uh, well they're having a hard time to catch it so that's why it looks darker compared to this one so at least they know what to change and what to you know adjust or like you know what to improve yeah See? right there okay so this is the older christian bell and oh, a younger christian bell okay so that's it so let's try to attach this one to the body of the the one with the suit the body of army version let's see how it looks like there you go so see that's what i'm saying so a bit shorter huh? looks okay but uh we need a different body i would say so short right it looks okay but uh, let me check the army version right so yeah so this is the army version so you can see that the neck part is longer looks more more uh, accurate to this body right so yeah so we need a different body for that uh, uh, head scalp of dx19 okay so i think that's it guys